Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 using the By Blood Alone DLC. I'm your host, Mr. Kingdom of Italy lover, but right now we have Papa Pio, Pio the 11th instead of the other guy because I was able to manage to get it to at least December 3rd, 1938. I'm sure you can do it a little faster, but uh, trying to get the Pope here is not super easy and, oh, it's actually not that difficult on all honesty. But it takes takes forever to get the expand the Latran tree because it takes forever to get to the power of the king. Um, so it just takes forever to get this one, and then you can do this one do it immediately expand the Lateran treaty, and you can also condemn fascism too. But like, I also convoke the ecumenical council because we can. But it takes forever to do that. But we're finally doing the Papacy reborn, and I'll, and I'll catch you up to speed where we're at with this campaign now. Now that the Solian is overthrown, the king is taking total control of Overly. It's time for Italian people to line towards the vision and goals of the church. So we get more non line, a little more political power. Lazio gets two building slots, three land forts, and to air, we become known as the Papal States. So replace Papal States with the Papal State. Uh, Papal support with the Papal State, I should say. More political power, Papa Cosco is down, even though I do like annexing everybody at the same time. But welcome back to the Kingdom of God. We have the Supreme Pontiff. Minus 25% just by world goals times under Supreme Pontiff. But temperamental also is minus 25% just by world goal time. Better master impact, which is not bad either. You know, I don't think I'll probably use that one for this campaign, but it has improved relations option minus 35%, improved relations option plus 25%. So, also to test it out, now we're all white. Also, I did have to take out Turkey, um, but then Turkey was also guaranteed by Romania, so that's how I got this part of Romania. Then the Soviet Union declared war in Romania too, but then they had a civil war, so this is why it, the world looks a little weird. So, I definitely wanted to make sure we got this part of Romania, which has 95 oil. So that's really why I wanted that part of Romania, just because of the oil. We could also be setting course, which would probably be a good thing to do, but we could do Deus Volt, which would be nice, Catholic action. Let's do Deus Volt. The Catholic Church has been a beacon of hope and stability in Europe for centuries. As we're facing dark times ahead, we must become this beacon of light once again. God wills it. <laughs> you know God wills it. Um, we're still not really concerned about this, the British Navy stuff. Uh, I could make probably some battleships, which would be better to, for us to do, so. Uh, any radar? Yeah, we do. Nice. Should have worked on this a little bit earlier, but whatever. We're making some convoys. Convoys are important, as we all know. Let's see, do that, do that, do this, do this. We got some convoys to go through as well. I was trying to build some millies, some civvies, and we're just trying to figure out who we want to go to war with next. Now, I want to go to war with Ethiopia, but that uh, puts a war um, with the SSR, which is not super strong. They're by Bukharin. Um, they have a good amount of manpower, of course, a lot of division. So, really, the goal is to hopefully take out as many people as we can before you know everything else breaks loose. Also, these guys are guaranteed by three people now. Germany is now democratic, which sucks. France is democratic, but somewhat communist. And then these guys are, well, they're doing what they normally do. So, um, Other than that, China and Japan are killing each other. And it's, it's kind of awkward and weird, but whatever. Uh, I want to see how much we can struggle down here. Hopefully the they don't join the common turn, which would really suck. But we are having to build some divisions around here, too. If we have to lose this part, that's fine, too. So we'll see if they go to war with us. That wouldn't be good, but you know, you never know. Iraq. I'll go to war with Iraq. But Davis Volt, and then follow, follow with the time for war. And I really want to go Mobile Warfare because we get the Hand of God uh, variant as a super heavy tank. It's really cool. I do like this one a lot. As long as heresy stands in Europe, there can be no peace. It's time for a new holy war, a new war machine. A new war machine will roar in his name, ready to strike the heretic with righteous fury. Let there be no peace until judgment can hit every unbeliever from the barrel of a 105mm cannon. So, let's go and save and see what happens as we talk about some comments, such as... Uh, these Ang those Anglicans are in for a bad time. Someone says, oh, this is a holy comment. Just for the Lord Jesus. And Dio Brando is an anti-fascist, I guess, so... Here's what it is, let's see if they join. I hope they really don't join. Do they try to kill us at all? Can we just move on in, maybe? Uh, do we have any planes here doing anything as well? We should have played this before we went to war and did this, but whatever. Oh, also, they, they did go to war with France as well. So we are attacking them. We're doing okay. Shouldn't be too bad as long as we move fast enough. Um, oh, you guys don't even have orders. So, duh. Well, that's a mistake by me. Give them some time. 39. Wow. Most against France. That's why. We have a lot of divisions, but I did improve these divisions, so at least there are 16 combo with, which. My opinion is still not good enough, so let's go 18 combo with. As we have gone down mobile warfare, happened in 1839, everybody. We got plenty of political power, though, almost to a day. So we're just going to figure out who we can take out, when we can take them out, and do stuff like that. So, 
Uh, over here, cavalry, infantry. I got the infantry guy, 510. Oh, this guy would have been better. But we're not fascist, so. A lot of these guys are fascist. So we have, basically have to wait to, before we can get anyone we really want, which kind of sucks in all honesty. Um, Captain Industry still would be bad, but it's much more costly than it was in the past. Revolutionary Poet. Common ground. Well, we could use a little spot more map art too, so let's go and grab this guy first. Because I still want to build roads, civvies, millies, all that good stuff. Because my god, we're going to need it. And then we'll expand our uh, army to be What can you do up here? Should I have good enough air support here? Thanks. Stormo, it's fine. Oh, there you go. Should do fine, are you not? Oh, there you go. There you go. That should upset a little more. But we do have quite a few things here. 34 heavy tanks. That would be bad. 39, grab some of that too. So after them... I really want to go to war with these guys, but they're going to war with Sanationist Poland. It was also guaranteed by all these guys. We could maybe go to war with them as well. I mean, these guys will probably join the Allies. We can get involved here, too. Are they going to go to war anyways? We might as well take whatever we can from them and just kill them all off that way. Communist, huh? We can do that first. Yeah, we can do that, too. Um, with this one, we have a lot of infantry. It might be best to go with down here. Because we're not really using too many tanks yet, even though this is really strong. I think with the Hand of God, we're using a lot of infantry. We're, we really don't have the industry yet to do what we really want to do here. Um, next big thrust, static, defense, whatnot. And we have a couple, couple copies here too. It gives us more. And he's an invader too, because we did naval invade using this guy too. So, oh, we're all not bad. Oh, no. Pope Pio has passed away. I've been in the Catholic Church for almost three years. During his time, the pontifex Maximus Pio XI ended the long breach between the papacy and the Italian government and was crucial in establishing vacuums of the independent state once again. A new pope shall be made. Oh, that sucks. So we get the guy we had last time, so. We lose political power, get more organization, and more cavalry attack. No! Well, we still get minus 25% world, world gold time, so that's still not bad. Hey! Look at that. We're at war. We got 30% more. We get 30% huh, more stability when we do attack. That's that's kind of insane. The Holy Land. Oh! A region is born in Palestine for the Christian faith. The legitimacy belongs to the kingdom of God. We must ensure that the Holy Land is returned to us without delay. Palestine war. Developed rural region. Oh god, yes. You know what? Just in case. Let's improve relations with Palestine. The Holy Land's Catholic Dominion. Mayor Nostrum replaced Papal State with Catholic Dominion. Plus 5% more political power. 500 weekly manpower, which is not bad. Another opera slot, daily for online, compliance growth speed. Reduce cost for puppet actions. I'll just puppet everybody then, probably. Time for war. As long as heresy stands in Europe, there can be no peace. It's time for the new holy war. New machines will roar in his name and ready to strike the heretic with righteous fury. Let there be no peace until judgment has hit every unbeliever in the barrel of 105 millimeter cannon. Yes, please. We're, taking, we're struggling up here, aren't we? Of course, the division are very good. A lot of them are just, you know, who they are, but still. Are you guys guaranteed by anybody? You're not. I like that a lot. I just wanted to conquer you guys. Uh, let's see where these guys are at. What if we also guarantee the independence? We'll do that. And we'll also justify on Bulgaria, because I want them directly under us. We can get them in our faction too, but I don't like that. I prefer having people just in us, with us, working with us, yeah. Not in us, but yeah, whatever. Oh. 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 Okay, then. Oh, boy. What the f- Corfu Cooperative. So we're fighting these guys now. God dang, are you kidding me, bro? Brosif. Papa Broski. Well, I was not expecting that this early. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this one instead. Well, I guess we do have divisions up here as well. That's kind of nice, actually. So you guys are just going to do this. You'll be fine. Let's go there. Do that. 
bruh. Get back out. Kill them all off. Oh, you can see I had my guys up here too. Bruh. You know what? I just want you to defend because I don't want to lose anything here, so I just do that. Uh, we're okay for now. I was not expecting that at all. Forget that. He's going to defend for now. God dang it, we're going to lose in all this area. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro, sis. Bro, sis. I don't want to lose a port, man. Should we hold real quick? Hold. Ow. Um, I need you up here, really. Don't suck, but whatever. See, I knew this would happen too. Sort out. You guys should be fine. I actually upgraded the tanks already, so you guys should be good to go. I might actually send you guys in here then. Bruh. I mean, that's a good way to think the convoys too. We're already in here. Get some sonar, get some new guns, get some new artillery pieces, it'd be nice. So. We'll send more, more of the army down here later. Um, since we're here, can I increase you guys at all? Not in yours? No, god dang it. Well, that's alright, do that then. A little more power here. Not expecting Greece to go to war this soon. Hey, look at this nice. Germany joins the Allies, that's not good. God dang it, now this is a real giant freaking mess. Holy Lands. Oh, Palestine hunts over the Palestine, though. It's not only a great day for the Papacy, but also for the Christendom. Palestinian leader Ahmad Hilmi Pasha has widely listened to our request and agreed to transfer Palestine to our administration. They just submitted a prosperity for the region and new bright future for the Papal States. Bless be the Palestines. Time for war. As we're just a little bit bogged down here, and they don't get any benefits. Oh, they're out of manpower too, that's nice. Of mutual assistance, are oh, you kidding me, bro? Oh, hey, America, yeah. I'm glad that you got all your guns. Can you guys do anything there? Probably not. Okay. Friendly fire tragedy diverted. Field Marshal Tello Balba came under friendly fire from anti air batteries after a misidentification of the skies of Libya. Imagine you can contact the ground troops and stay clear of the barrage. Bob will persuade the anti aircraft crew to stop firing and land his planes successfully. The field marshal has been hailed for his bravery and staying calm in a hot situation. Bob blows a gallantry save the day. Nice. Awesome. Uh, I was pushing through here, which is really good too. So, um, This guy's going to be doing well. I might not actually go to war with the Soviet Union just yet. We'll see. We need that air base. Nope. Oh. Oh, and there it goes, China. Oh, new tank? Yes, please. Oh, we have nine divisions here, too. Look at that. You know what? We're only at 20% stability, but whatever. Oh. Oh, they destroyed some of our divisions? Oh, we were able to escape. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're getting through here. We're pushing. France has landed as well. This is going to be an ugly peace deal. All right, this is going to be extremely ugly. France, Yugoslavia, and us. We did the most here, so we're going to take as much as we can. Um, I'd like to connect here to here to here, so we'll see. I would also like the med. Um, I would like this state definitely. That way, we can at least connect all these areas here. That'd be nice. There 
go. Hey, we at least connected him. That's nice. And I'm gonna take that. Take that too. Hey, there we go. Not bad. And even though these ships suck, I'm still taking them. A lot better than I thought would happen. Nice. I want you guys to bring up the reap. Oh! Oh, I completely ignored this. Well, that sucks. Now they are completely democratic and independent. Okay, then. Huh. How long would it take for us to go back to war with them? That's a long time. So maybe not. Okay, then. My bad. My fault. But I was much more focused over here. Now I'm ready to go to war with these guys. Well, that's alright. Um... So what's this whole mutual system between them and Bulgaria? Or we just go to war with these guys instead. I don't know why I spent all that political power. That was a waste. It's alright though. I might redo that just a little bit. Let's see. 16 divisions. And this is Hellenic Republic. And they are what? They're completely independent. Okay, this is weird. This is really kind of weird. I know I'm screwing this up a whole bunch, but what? Still, whatever. We'll go to war with the Allies eventually too. Once the industry is all built up. I'm not super concerned about it right now. Um, there's that. What do we get? Really crappy ships, but you know what? It's a Greek navy. What do you expect? Three, fourteen. There you go. So you guys know where to go. You guys are going to be dying over here, and you guys are just going to be kind of you know. Pretty much like normal. Oh, we're no longer of a. Well, it's only a day to do that, anyways. Cancel, up. bruh. We needed those guns. Ooh, military factory, though. Let's try, we'll make our own then. Uh, improved light tank chassis. Get there. Hmm. I think it just bloods through Bulgaria. But honestly, we we'll probably need to do this. That'd be nice. So they're going to go to war with these guys. We'll see what we can do. Because the Allies are a huge, a pretty large faction. If anything, we'll go to war with the Soviet Union, then go all around here, through Poland, then Germany, then the little countries, and then here. Because America's known the Allies. Hopefully they don't want to join, but they might. They'll probably join. And that'll suck a whole bunch. I'll probably do this campaign at least one more time. Someday. Oh, okay then. You go right there. Engineer companies. Nice military police would be nice as well. We'll edit that up. Let's see what we're gonna do. Time for war and the Catholic Dominion. With the ascension of the Papacy is a major power to be reckoned with once again. Time for us to reach out full, full faithful Christians. Uh, act as the hand of God that guides people. Just as a shepherd guides his flock and protection from evil. That's the mandate of God and uh I've been protection. The Iberian nations have enjoyed relative security in the past, recent past, but it's clear that right now they would not be able to defend themselves against the greater enemy powers on their own. Most are more protected before And fight. now, let's try it. With Bulgaria here, we should do okay. I'm gonna conquer, conquer, yeah. Let's see what happens. We should do fine with the infantry down here. Um, we should, might do okay over here. No commander, but really... Uh, we could probably use a new commander. Giuseppe. Infantry. Panzer good. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. Um, over here, though, they say they can win. We could join the Allies to begin. Ooh, I'm going to say no to that, but that might not be bad. You know what? Let's join the Allies and we can leave. Um, just because that they'll start sending us like equipment and stuff, and that's something I really want. Lots and lots of equipment. Um, no. Well, they should, be, in theory, be able to send us a lot of equipment, so. Uh, we need some better artillery, need some, and I will get some anti-air on our guys. It's going to take some time, that's all. Um, other than that, let's go to, ooh, we could go down here. Can we get women in the war bonds would be nice. <clears throat> Political actions. Because I do want to go to total mobilization, but can we still get women in the service? We should be able to, but that's going to take some time. That's going to hurt, hurt our manpower a little bit, too. We have, we have political power for that. We do that. Ah, women in the workforce. We just need a hundred. That's fine. We'll get there. As long as we take out Bulgaria fast enough, that's all I really care about. We're doing okay here too. So, um, they're doing very well around here though, which is a little bit of a cause concern because I want to take as much as we can. I want to get the oil, the fuel, the fuel down here in Azerbaijan. 
Um, so that's really my main goal for going into this war. Nope. I don't get down here, so. Well, we will be fine. The tanks are going to struggle, but it's okay. Go right here. Should be able to wrap these guys up and take those guys out. Take those guys out. Plevin. Be nice. There, just wrap them up. Kreova. We have no fuel, but that's okay. We'll get there. Nice, nice, nice. Get Montenegro as well. We can go to war with the Allies. And we got Bulgaria. Nice. We got 200 guns too. And it's just us, so. Oh, there's no Navy. Oh, that sucks. There you go. Now that's what I like to see. So, there's what we're going to do. You guys are over here. You guys are over here. You guys are also over here. I'm going to have you guys wrap this area up. And, well. Do it like that. Hopefully, they'll give us a lot of equipment. And our front will be basically down here. Hard and fast as much as we possibly can through here. As quickly as we possibly can, too. So. Right now, war score participation is like 4%. We can barely get anything. And this is exactly why I wanted to join the Allies for now. Other than says, having God on your side, like joining the Allies and having a Pope. The Pope. God said, did you want to be successful? Just have the Pope. Show him there, too. It's fine. I knew we wouldn't be able to do very much right there. It's fine. Right there. Kill him off, kill him off, and I, I, we, the goal is to get, go to war the allies as well, but let's get this one go first, first. And getting the Catholic Dominion would be really good too, so we can get some more daily, weekly manpower, and more political power, better consumer goods. That goes kind of strong. Okay. Right, so you guys, right now we're going to head on, and we're going to go there. You guys come up here, because we need to blitz through this part as fast as we possibly can. If I could me to lend lease, that'd be good, I don't really very much a lend lease, and we're getting lend leased. Anyway, so, nothing here, I'm an organization specialist, oh. look at all that, Ugo, Calervo, wounded, whatever, um, work on one of these as well, I don't mind working on roads just a little bit, but we need more military factories, obviously, 100%, there you go, playing for the long campaign here, we must have the fuel, I got off the roads too, so. so now for now we're in the Allies, but then we'll leave. I want France to know the Allies. This special civil war is still firing. It's still going on. Guns, guns, guns. Catholic Dominion, please. Nice. Take Baku. We're now 8%, which is not bad. They've only lost 900,000. We've done third most, more than UK, which is good. Go and take, 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 take. Catholic Dominion, nice. Uh, Elevento Aurora. Uh, but let's do this one first. Oh, actually, no, let's not do that because that says we'll create our own faction. The Catholic Dominion. We don't want to do that one yet until later. So, Catholic Action? So, 35 day focus. So, Catholic youth organizations providing to be a very efficient tool on rooting out communists, from our Catholic social justice principles, and then Grossar swell the ranks of our armed forces with eager new conscripts. Alvento Alvaro. Long as perhaps we've been oppressed by foreign forces, however, we can optimize our airports and fire training programs to allow for much cheaper yet braver pilots to bring the whole go golden dominion of the Catholic Church to enemies of the skies. Well, this will be our grandest requiem. Um, that's not bad. We just need more millies, too. I guess there's enough infrastructure? No? Okay. Just lots of millies. We need a lot of guns. We need a lot of support equipment. We need a lot of tanks. A lot of this too. Nice, look at that. Oh man, they are forcing defense. That is insane. 12%, not bad. Keep going, keep going. This is going to be an ugly peace deal. Very ugly peace deal. All right, so there's not much else here. I'm going to have you guys not do what you're doing because I save a little bit of fuel. So go home and just repair. Actually, is there a war with Jordan? No, god dang it. Iraq is probably where we're going to go to war with. If we're in the Allies, that means they won't join the Allies, which is good, so. <sighs> Democracies can't justify. We're not a democracy, though. Go, 
Oh, yeah, we got it. Nice. That's nice. That's good. Guerrilla fighter, that's okay. What? What? What do you mean, kick from faction? Um, bruh. Thirty-nine. Well, just because I was looking at maybe going to war with somebody. Nope. Gathic action. Oh, they want all non sorts of non aggression packs. Um, range, mirror efficiency. Nice. Expand the Royal Guard. Well, strengthen and expand the Royal Guard Corps and have, have more reliable troops loyal to the Italian monarchy. And keep performing different roles in any kinds of military operations should the need arise. And we'll also do Citadelaria. Oh. Our effort, research efforts have long been spread across many different areas of the country. Uh, this has made things quite inefficient. We should combine our research efforts and found a sky city in which scientists and engineers from many different fields so they can work together to build new generations of planes. Which would be nice. Um, 35 day focus. F expand Fogia farm fields. That'd be nice. Power plants, civvies, military factory construction speed. Do you get some 8 steel? But 8 steel is actually we're lacking just a little bit. We're on the experts. So let's go to the steel one. Steel industry and tyranny. The tyranny steel works has long formed the backbone of Italian steel production. And war is gone, we need to rely on them even more. A few investments now will undoubtedly pay off massively later. Increased artillery production? Oh, yes. The Great War was primarily a war of artillery. We have to assume that the next war will also be fought primarily by artillery. We must not allow ourselves to fall behind in this field. Ministry of African, Italian Africa. The various tribes and people of Africa cannot be handled like we might deal with other subject people. Administering these areas will require a different approach. Army leaders. Armies must always be led by the most capable officers available. It's imperative that we create a safe flow of new and competent officers to maintain the advantage. Italian tankettes. I might have read this one earlier, actually, so. While other countries might develop even larger and heavier tanks in search of a super tank that will render all of their tanks obsolete, we know that the best tank is the tank that's actually on the field. A tank must be fast enough to go wherever it's needed in time, and it's only needed, it needs armor heavy enough to withstand rifles. Such a vehicle will be cheap and quick to produce, and a super acito. According to a large arms, it's an easy undertaking. We need to create a structure for a supreme command that can guide and support the forces in the field. Very true. Um, go ahead and grab this one. Can't believe we're kicked out of the Allies. You know. That just means justification for going to war with them. Wow. They are getting literally just destroyed here. No one wants to send me Lindley's. Bruh. Bruh. Feels like an okay. Gets more bonds too. Definitely up keep building up that industry no matter where we're at because we're going to build everything everywhere. Build some more here too. Got Spain. I'm going to keep only one for civvies. Let's build some more oil. And that looks pretty good. I'm really rubber, even though eventually we don't need that much more rubber. Okay, we're importing some rubber too, so. Let's go. Fuel. Uh. Sure, but you already kicked us out once, so I'm not sure why we'd want to join again, but we'll do it anyways. I'm here really for Lundley, so we should be 17%, which is not bad. We've done a quarter million cow streets, we're taking 18,000 only, that's not bad. If anything, we might continue to expand and get all the way to maybe to Japan and go to war with Japan, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what we can take out next. I really want to take out a lot of people in this campaign. We'll see. I'm going to take this again. They should fall relatively soon. This piece is going to be so bad, though. It's going to be so god awful. I like how Austrian Hungary left just by themselves. Same ideology group without a war goal. Huh. Well, alright then. In the meantime, anybody else we can grab? No. Bresca, Lancia. Oh, yes, America. They're not in the war, so that's okay with us. Plain stuff. Uh, reliability fighters. We're going with that. We're out of a lot of guns. We've got plenty of trucks though. Where are trucks currently? Decoration. Mayor Nostrum proclaimed Greater Italy. Well, towards Greater Italy, we can't probably do that one. Mayor Nostrum. Greek states, Turkish, Spanish, French, British states. We know the Regnum Romanum. Against cores. Oh boy. 
Uh, it's going to be a while before we actually get there, but that's okay. Golden Wind. Just like go to the capital. Usually, is it Sverdlovsk the capital if they become that? Or Chelyabinsk? Something like that. Two a day is not bad though. Ah, good. And we'll do. Get more political power that way. But let's do this one just because it's fast. Better land doctrine costs, more army XP, better division organization, less organization loss when moving, especially when you're in a god awful area like this. That'd be nice. Um, special force is not bad. Cavalry, that's not bad too, but still. Mills Com Industry. New field of radio detection and range finding offers many opportunities, and no doubt, no doubt it's become an important area of military technology. But surely keep up with developments in this area. Rest of small arms industry as well. Italian small arms are famous throughout the entire world for the high quality, but we must also ensure that we have a sufficient supply of the most modern types of weapons. If we wish to ensure that our soldiers can be any enemy, or best enemy, any enemy on the field. Redirect Alfa Romeo production. For decades, Italian sports cars have been on the absolute pinnacle of technology, but with the clouds of war closing in, everyone in Italy wants to do their part. We cannot afford to retain pointless luxuries, and the machines of Alfa Romeo plants may be better used for military purposes, of course. Oh, good. And declare war on itself, nice. Are we at least 20%? We're only at 17, god dang it. Come on. 90% of the way there. My god, that's a lot of people. India. We're not good to war with India, but then we can't even get down there. Pakistan. I hate when they decolonize sometimes, man. It really sucks. Nah, we're good. Good, 98 still. So, we'll capitulate them, and then we'll see how the peace deal looks and like. And here we are at improving uh, oil and fuel and whatnot. But really, here's the peace deal. So, we took a good chunk of this. We haven't got, like, Volgograd, which was, you know, not too much here, but that's nice and all. Uh, we did get the fuel, which is nice. This is really ugly up here. If I had the state to tool mod, I would change it around. We even took Balta Teraspol. Uh, we can, might not even be able to get to. Um, but, yeah, this is a really ugly peace deal. Japan took a little bit, which I'm not going to be concerned about too much. Shang-Chi took quite a bit as well. This is really disgusting over here. Um, F India, what the crap is going on down here? Anyways, whatever. Uh, we're going to go to war with the Hellenic Republic too. So, Hopefully no one wants to get involved down here too. But you never know. I would like to attack, but like, that might be a really bad idea. Do it anyways. We'll get our Air Force in here too. And they join the Allies, which is probably a big old mistake for us. Uh, we're not ready to take out the allies yet. I mean, else we could like move really quickly, but I guess not. But you know, I think I'm gonna redo this just a little bit because this is set up to be very, very difficult for us. But you know what? If you enjoyed the episode, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else we can do with the Papal State. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.